too many uh, things uh, that you won in your career, yeah. both individually, both uh, also collectively. Yeah, but it was also a long career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. fun, a fun ride. Uh, it was really nice. I mean, uh, first game here was in '92 uh, because I started to play hockey at uh, Alkmaar, uh, club a little bit up north, and uh, then I played there all the youth teams and one time, uh, one year in the uh, in the men's team with my two brothers actually. Uh, which was really nice. Uh, one was uh, left forward, I was left mid, and the other one was left back. So it was uh, really nice. And then uh, after that year, I needed to go to uh, half class team because I was in the under 21s for the national team. And uh, this was nearby. And a lot of family from myself lived here, uh, uh, granddads, uh, stuff like uh, that. Uh, so it was an uh, obvious pick for me to go to, to Bloemendaal. And uh, yeah, it started here in '92. And it ended in 2013. Yeah, yeah. with some experience in between. But uh, yeah. starting in uh, Alkmaar, where everything started yeah. with your brothers, yeah. it was a, a, a nice experience. You have uh, good memories playing with your brothers. Uh, Real good fun. memories. Yeah, it was really, really nice. Uh, I really grew up at that club. I mean, my parents played hockey, my brothers played hockey, and I was the youngest. Uh, if I wanted to play soccer uh, during the uh, during the weekend, my mother was like, "No, we have one car, and that car is going to." The hockey club Saturday morning, so you, you join in and grab a stick and grab a ball and enjoy yourself. Uh, because I started to play uh, in a team at uh, nine, when I was nine years old. Uh, so before that, yeah, I was the whole weekend on the club with my stick and a ball, uh, uh, trying to get some friends, okay, let's play a game. Or when nobody was there, yeah, I was alone, I was hitting all the time and, and doing tricks and stuff like that. Uh, and then maybe my brother played and I had a look. Uh, then the game finished and I needed to do something uh, again. And uh, yeah, it was always windy at Alkmaar, it still is. And there was a lot of rain also, which we have in Holland. Now it's okay uh, today, uh, because I, but I was always outside. Always outside and uh, enjoying myself. And uh, my, my mother was behind the bar, so to say, uh, doing the sa uh, sandwiches and doing the coffee and stuff like that. And I think a lot of people ask her, uh, yeah, the, the little boy, is, I mean, he's still out, you know, eh? it's a, he's still outside. And I think my mother always said, yeah, but he's having fun, he's enjoying himself, let him be. End of the day, I pick him up and we go home. Then you came, as you said, to, to Blumenau. Yeah. Uh, also because of uh, being a close, um, close by club uh, yeah. and a top club, obviously. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, before that, I watched a lot of matches here because uh, uh, at the end of the 80s, uh, the team here was really good with uh, Floris and Bovelland, Kees and Diepenveen, uh, Theo de Doyer. They were champions four years in a row. Uh, yeah, and I was a, a little kid playing hockey at Alkmaar, uh, watching here in the weekends also on, on Sunday. Uh, yeah, it was great, and I was like, I want to be there. I want to be here as well. Yeah, it was uh, so it was an easy, easy option for me. But difficult transition, a different club, different conditions, <coughs> maybe better conditions, but al yeah. always different. No, yeah, no, it was wasn't difficult. Uh, but I waited because they, I think they asked me the first year because Alkmaar was always playing also against uh, Bloemendaal. Yeah. And then I was with uh, the under 12s and it was like, uh, uh, I think it was at home, at, the, at Alkmaar. And we actually won the game. And the coach from Bloemenla came and said, now, would you like to come to Bloemenla? But my reaction was, yeah, why? Because we won. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah why, why should I go to Bloemenla? Yeah, we just won the game. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, just wasn't easy with school and stuff like that. I mean, no, no driver's license uh, stuff. So uh, I waited till I was 16, and then I, yeah, needed to go. Yeah. In uh, 20 years, uh, contacted with the Blue Mendal uh, as player, as coach nowadays, uh, it's a lifetime, a sports lifetime. Yeah, and, and still it went like, like this. I just said inside. I mean, mentally, I think I still can play for 20 more years. Yeah. But yeah, the physics. You had a different uh, experience in between. Uh, to, to, you went to Germany, Arvest Ruder. Yeah. Um, how did that, that happen? Why did you go there? Uh, yeah, because of my wife, actually. Uh, I met her uh, uh, 
uh, we got something uh, during the Atlanta Olympic Games. That was my first Olympic Games. Uh, yeah, two times gold for me. Uh, I met my wife and uh, with the men's team we got the gold medal. Uh, so great, great tournament. After that tournament she came to, to Bloemenau to play here. Uh, and uh, yeah, we, we had something like, hey, you came, you came to me, maybe I can go to you. I have a different experience there. Uh, Hamburg is a great city, great, great city. With great hockey teams as well. Uh, and Harvest Hoede was really good uh, back in those days uh, with a lot of uh, yeah, players like uh, Bloom, Michael Green, uh, Xavier Arnau who went to uh, that club, Russell Garcia, I was there. Yeah, it was just a great club to be and uh, yeah, I went there and it was for me a real, real good experience. And we, in the end we became German Meister. Yeah, and also um, an experience in India. Um, yeah. What, what do you think uh, about that? It was uh, in a different uh, atmosphere, hotter than, than <laughs> in Germany and, and yeah, I always, uh, uh, I mean, as a hockey player, I, I loved to go to Pakistan, I loved to go to uh, India. Actually, also because of the weather. I mean, uh, it can be hot enough. I, I really like it. Uh, uh, so I'm looking forward to real spring and a little bit of summer here in Holland. Uh, so, uh, yeah, for me, it was obvious to go. Uh, to, to, to the Hockey India League uh, uh, and I was a real fan of the process as well and, and, and the league as well because I think it's good for hockey and uh, hockey should be broadcasted like that and uh, yeah they did it really really well and I really enjoyed it I wanted to play better the, as I did when I look back but yeah okay it was a good experience Once in a while when I say these numbers uh, during a presentation or something like that, people are like, they don't really understand. Eh? Because I asked them, okay, how many, how many games do you think that I played? And it's, that was like uh, 150 or uh, maybe max 250. And then I'm like, no, 453. Huh? <laughs> it can't be right, you know? Uh, because they always compare it a little bit. Uh, uh, I think it's the same in the Portugal with, uh, with soccer. Yeah. And it's like, no, that's not... Uh, uh, yeah, and then and then the goals, uh, yeah, 219. Of course, I'm I'm really proud of that. Uh, it's always a team effort. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it was me. For me, it was really really good to play in, in good teams. And you uh, remember your uh, first game? Yeah, Limden against yeah. New Zealand. Yeah. And the result? Ooh, five one? No, five nil. Five nil. <laughs> <laughs> well, how was um, that, those feelings? You were a yeah. young guy, a young boy with a dream, and no, it was actually really nice. It was in uh, in Holland at a yeah small club, uh, but they really made an event of it. So there was a lot of uh, stuff going on, a lot of spectators. Uh, now nah, I was uh, uh, a young lad, of course, uh, wanting and willing to play the game. And then I think it was like 15 minutes from the end. Uh, okay, turn. Uh, and before the game, actually, I got uh, the shirt with number 40, which was really nice. Uh, because, yeah, that's a, that's a famous, famous number eh, from, from Johan Cruijff here in, in the Netherlands. And it was in the bag for now almost one year. And because the manager was a big Johan Cruijff fan. And uh, yeah, he just didn't give it to somebody else. And he played also uh, before uh, I played here at uh, Bloemendaal. And I think. That helped me a little bit and he had a good feeling with me because he, he picked it out of the bag and he said, yeah, then it's number, number 14, I have a good feeling with you. And he gave it, uh, and he gave it to me. And, then I had and a lot of pressure also. A little bit of pressure, <laughs> but uh, okay, I managed. And uh, yeah, I think I was a bit shaky when I went in and uh, I still remember that I had a, had a chance, uh, but I didn't got the ball because we had like a, a, a 2-0 uh, at, uh, at the goalie and the guy yeah, just passed me the ball and then it's in the open goal that he wanted to score himself. And I was like, ah, shit. <laughs> Your <laughs> um, opportunity ah. passed by. Uh, yeah. But you, you have lots of trophies, lots of matches that you always remember. Yeah. But uh, the final in a track, uh, probably the, the best. It was a World Cup, not the Olympic yeah. Games, but you were the one that scored the, the game-winning goal in the final of the World Cup. Yeah, of course, that, that's nice. Uh, but the whole tournament was one big uh, hockey fiesta. Uh, so it was 
a dream to play, uh, actually. Uh, so yeah, it's when I look back, it's like it went so, it went so quick, and the stadium was full of orange, and every game was fully packed, and uh, we we struggled. Also, we had some upsets during the tournament because we lost from Germany with 5-1 or something. Uh, but then in the semi-final we won 6-1 from, from the Aussies, which was yeah also unbelievable. And, then, and you yeah, were losing in the final. And then we, we met Spain, which were and they were really really good back in those days with uh, no, Arnau and uh, Amat Escara, yeah, great great players. Yeah, we struggled because they played well and 2-0 uh, behind, and it was almost like okay, it's not going to happen. And then it happened. And it was a really a fulfilling moment, uh, everyone grabbing you, uh, you've seen the footage obviously. Yeah, I, it was, uh, oh yeah, it was, it was a bit strange as well, because it was the first time with Golden Goal. And uh, yeah, I scored then extra time, it was two minutes before the end. And I scored and I was, okay, I'm going, going to cheer, so I'm, I'm doing <laughs> that, you see that on the tape as well. Yeah. And then I, yeah, remember, hey, it's Golden Goal, it's finished, it's over, and then I just dropped dead on the ground, so to say. And then the whole team is above me, yeah. Crazy, <laughs> crazy stuff.